Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. How's everyone doing? Hey, Julian Creed. Hey, Belinda. Hey, Lenore Belizia. Vinkel Charles. How's everyone doing? Ty can say something. Can you guys hear me? Hello. Can you guys hear me? If you can hear me, say something, please. If you can't, let me know. Okay, all right. So you guys can hear me. Hi, hey, hey, Didi. How you doing today? So how are you guys? How was your week? Are you guys ready for the weekend? Uh, I know Julian Creed. Hey, Cheryl. Uh, I know Julian Creed is, uh, has, you know, I saw on Facebook today that you had some really nice liquor uh, for you to drink this weekend. I'm jealous because I cannot, I don't drink and I cannot drink. Uh, hi, Marcel. What have you guys been up to since yesterday? Some of you were here yesterday, some of you weren't here. Did you guys get in trouble? Tell me, I want to hear. Hey, Gillian, what did you guys do today? How much money did you guys spend buying things to get ready? Hey, Rosella, how are you doing? Did you get your package, Rosella? I was worried about, the, about it uh, today. Let me know if you got your package. So, Gillian, how much money did you spend today buying perfumes? You're not going to tell me, are you? Yeah, yes, Julian, Julian, Creed, yes, yes, I know. Uh, you're the biggest troublemaker that I know. What are you talking about? Yeah, what do you mean, you? You still waiting uh, on on your? I uh, know. I thought it was supposed to be delivered today. I don't know. The post office is has been a little slow. Uh, so, but you, I mean, you have the tracking number, so I think you can, you know, should be able to track it. Uh, how come you did not get your package, Osela? Hey, Lulu. Uh, how you doing, Lulu? Are you feeling better today? Your boyfriend isn't 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 in here. Isn't here today. So I'm sure he will he will show up later on. Or Gil, and you should call him and tell him that Lulu is here so he can, you know, join. Because if he knows Lulu is here, so I know he's, he's going to, jo to join the live. Anyway, so uh, it's three minutes after the time. Uh, this is going to be a short. Oh, I'm glad you're doing much better, Lulu. This is going to be, do a short uh, video, a uh, short live to tell you guys about the perfumes. Uh, was. <laughs> Only you was my man. He said he was going to be here. I don't know which man you're talking about. If you're talking about uh, Fragrance Anatomy, he said he was going to be here. I'm sure he's probably going to be here. Uh, Julian Creed said, I'm, I'm a good woman who loves to drink water with lemon. Yeah, right. Sure. Of course. Yeah. Water and lemon. Yes. I, I believe you. Yeah, I believe you. If, if I say I believe you, that means I believe in Santa Claus also, right? So tonight... Five perfumes for uh, five uh, five days. Hi, Sunflower. Thank you for joining me. Uh, you, you enjoyed us yesterday, uh, Cheryl? I know. Uh, there are three people on Fradcom, okay, that I know. It's, well, I'm one of them. Uncommon Sense and Lulu. When it, the three of us, whenever either two of us or three of us get together, we have the best time ever. Because we just, you know, we just go crazy. Hi, Alicia. So five beautiful perfumes that I wore this week. Uh, I, I, you know, I e equally love all of them. Uh, except one I have some reservations about because of, you know, what's been happening. And I think so some of you were here yesterday when Uncommon Sense was talking about, uh, you know, with that house. With the girly house, but you know it's still one of my favorite, uh, uh, you know, houses. So I'm still gonna wear it. But I, when I wore that perfume, I was thinking about it. I was like, yeah, I'm supporting a company that's 
had said some really unfavorable, unfavorable things against, you know, uh, people of my, my culture, you know, uh, so I felt a little bad warning, but you know, I cannot uh, blame the entire house. So therefore, you know, I'm still going to wear the perfumes. Uh, I may not buy anymore after I do, do I've, I've done my own research, but you know, you never know. So, you know, five perfumes, I think we have 18 people here. So, uh, I'm going to start with number one. Number one is a perfume that Lulu knows and Lulu loves very much. And as you can, guys can see, uh, I've worn the heck out of this perfume. Look, this is the original skin, Scandal. In English, you know, Scandal, right? Uh, I don't know what Tara and Amina are, uh, but hey, Akisi, I thank you for joining. It's the original Scandal by uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier. This uh, look at the shoes, you know, the, they have the lady flip upside down, right? I guess if you put the perfume this way, she's actually walking, right? But if you put it this way, it has a different meaning. Like maybe she's, I don't know, uh, doing something else, you know, maybe jumping, not jumping jack, but she's standing on her head and trying to do some kind of gymnastic and, and stuff. Oh, hey, Amina. Thank you for joining. I love Scandal. Uh, I have worn, I think it's, uh, it has been one of my most worn perfume for 2020, if you guys can see. And uh, I don't think I've given any of this away, uh, but I, I really, I absolutely love this one. Uh, some of the notes, uh, this perfume, you know, people call it, ele you know, elegant. It's, it's, you know, it's very elegant. It has blood orange, honey. It has some patchouli, some gardenia, and it's really creamy and kind of balsamic. So credit goes to uh, Guillaume, who helped me with research the notes today, because you guys know I cannot, you know, hey, I don't know, I cannot tell a note from a nut, right? So uh, this, it's hard to find. Have you been able to see it online, uh, Lulu? So you have Scandal, uh, you have scandal by Night, uh, uh, Sunflower? I don't have Scandal by Night. This is the original Scandal. I don't think I was, when I looked for the scandal by night, I wasn't able to find it. So, uh, but this was my first one and I bought the second scandal. I have the second one. I ended up buying two of it, but this one is still my favorite. My favorite, my favorite of the scandal. It's, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it lasts. It lasts a very long time on the skin. And, you know, I always put my perfume on the skin and the bottle is gorgeous. It's a beautiful bottle. It comes in a really nice box. And when, it, when they have it available, uh, you can get it for maybe like in this, probably $60, $65 online, or you can get the smaller smaller bottle. This is the Eau de Parfum. I don't know if it came in Eau de Toilette version, but you know, Scandal, I uh, I won this on Monday and I really, really enjoyed wearing this one. It doesn't come with the body. You, you find it on Beauty uh, beauty Counter. Okay, I need to, I need to, to, to check this one out. Uh, and uh, Inicia said uh, she has candle by night. She likes both of them, but she love, loves the original. Yeah, so uh, this is the original one. Uh, you know what they say about the original one is always your, you know, your favorite. So, you know, it's like having a child, your firstborn, you're very close to your firstborn. So that's the way that I am, you know, to this, to this, to this fragrance, to this house. Uh, so Julian said, I don't need any more perfumes, well, except if I like the Chanel Le Lyon. Uh, I don't think, I think you're gonna love all the perfumes uh, other than the Chanel Le Lyon, uh, Julian. I, I can assure you that. So, you know, if you don't have this one for the fall and the winter, try to get this one, you know, in your collection because I think it will become a love uh, if you, you know, it's, it's, to me, it's kind of affordable, under $100, right? Yes, uh, Cheryl, the bottle is uh, scandalous. It is. I know. I, I, you, you got the right word. It is. It is kind, kind of scandalous. But you know, it's, it, it represents a, you know a woman. You know, so it's, you know, it's definitely a lady with her high heel shoes on and very muscular, you know, uh, uh, legs here and her calves. I mean, just you know, sexy, beautiful, beautiful woman for for beautiful people. My number two fragrance. Let me uh, get to my notes here. 
so I can tell you what my number two is. Uh, my number two. Oh, so you guys, if you guys saw my video of my haul, my first haul, uh, that's my number two uh, fragrance for the night. And I made a mistake when I mentioned it in, in the video. I said BKD uh, when it was supposed to be BDK. So this is BDK Wood Jasmine. So if you like Amber, uh, get this perfume. Even though the notes doesn't say Amber, but I smell, to me, it smells like, I mean, hey, you know, it's my perfume. I can, you know, give it any notes that I want, right? So uh, this one is not available at the discounters. It's only online at, uh, what did I get this? Lucky Scents that I, I got it. I, I love this perfume so much. I ended up buying another one from it. And it, it's in my cabinet here, in my perfume cabinet. And I haven't even opened it yet because I want to do it. A first impression. Yes, Julian. I yes, you told me you you posted it and the picture was so beautiful. I went and bought it, and I you know I have not regret uh, buying this perfume. So it has it's an oriental uh, floral uh, fragrance for women and men. Again, most of my perfumes are uh, unisex, right? Uh, hey, Facebook user, we cannot see your name. Uh, Self Selfridges uh, has it a little less. Oh, I did, I couldn't find it at Selfridges. Really? So if I had done, I would have bought the second one because I do have international, you know, global shipping. Uh, so Facebook user, let us know who you are so I can refer to you by name instead of you know just Facebook Facebook user. So again, you know, it uh, it was you know the person who created this fragrance. Her name is uh, Camille Lequay. Uh, some of the notes are pear, plum, uh, jasmine, sambac, Egyptian jasmine, Turkish rose, artemisia, incense, Madagascar vanilla. No wonder I love it because it has vanilla. It has vanilla. So Lulu, you said, if you said, uh, you need to know what the perfume is again. So let me type it up for you, uh, uh, Sunflower. So it's BDK, BDK. Hold on, where's my note? Okay, so someone just type it up for you, uh, for you here, uh, sunflower. Oh, is it sunflower or saving flower? I don't know. I, I kept calling you sun, sunflower, so you have to tell me how to pronounce it. Uh, it's BDK, you know, uh, Julian, thank you. Thank you for, uh, for, for posting the name. It's, it's really nice. It's a really nice fragrance. Hi, Vinko Charles. Thank you for joining us, uh, Vinko Charles. Uh, it's this is I, you know I I refer it to this as kind of like a work very good for work perfume really good for maybe light dinner in the uh, early dinner type perfume first date definitely first date perfume and guys don't be afraid of this perfume just because the bottle looks a little you know feminine looking. Don't be afraid to wear this perfume. Uh, and so, Lulu, did you buy it? I'm sure you bought it. Because if you're looking at the price, I'm sure you bought it. Of course you did. Yeah, you, you bought it. I know. But again, guys, if you're looking at this perfume, don't be afraid you know, of uh, buying this and wearing it. Because it's very, very sexy. It's a, uh, it's, it's a sexy afternoon, evening, dinner type of perfume. Uh, and also, if you're going out with... Uh, you know, maybe happy hour on a Friday, right? Oh, oh, Terrilyn. Oh, that's you, Terrilyn. That's my girl. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now, now I know who you are. Okay. Uh, go, you know, if you're going out on a Friday night, right? Uh, Friday evening for happy hour. This is definitely happy hour perfume, right? You wear this because, you know, if you go out on a Friday, happy hour on a date, so your date will be maybe kind of like, standing really kind of close to you. So it's not a very loud perfume like people will say, hey, here I am. Definitely not that not that kind of a perfume, but definitely something to try. If you can maybe get a tester, try to get a tester uh, from this perfume. It's, you know, it's worth it. It's good for the uh, for the fall. I don't know if I would wear it for the winter because I don't think it's strong enough 
for the winter, but definitely, you know, a fall perfume. And I, I can even wear this in the, maybe in, in the spring, uh, maybe in the spring, but since I have a lot of spring perfumes, but this one is just really good. So uh, let's see. Julian said, love, love it, and Sharon uh, to some uh, fine guys in our group. Yes. Oh, are you, did you give them a test toast? Hey, Lunsie, thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, yeah, so Julian, it's it's great. It's a great perfume to share with, to share with, 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 with people. Guys would, you know, would really, men who are not into the macho, macho fragrances would really like one this. Again, here, here it is, you know, beautiful bottle, uh, gold top, uh, very unisex looking bottle, you know, nice, nice bottle to, uh, to, to have on, on your dresser or at home. My third perfume, I'm going to play a little game with you guys. I, this, I talked about it yesterday, for those of you who were in, in, in the live yesterday. I talked about it yesterday. If you guys can tell me which one it is, I will give you a decade from it. For my third perfume maybe it wasn't my third perfume but uh we'll just we'll just call it my third perfume so no let's not call it my third perfume when i when i get to it if you guys want to think about it uh and let me know which which one you think it is i will give you a decade from it but the one i'm going to talk about next is was my third one for the week it's not the one that i'm going to give a decade out of it it's probably the next one okay so all of you guys know that I, I am a bond number nine lover, right? There it is. Jade, Dubai. It's the Dubai line by bond number nine. I have, if you can see uh, the barrel, you can see how much I've worn it already for, you know, since I've had it. This is like, I think it's, I call it the green perfume because the barrel is green, but it's not actually it has a little bit of green notes in it. But if you like moss, you like moss, you like amber, and uh, you like uh, raspberry, it has some violet leaves, and it has a uh, common and uh, lily, uh, and it has some rose, jasmine, cedar. This has a lot, a lot of uh, perfume, uh, a lot of notes in it. And it's super, super beautiful super nice definitely date night i want this to work i should have never worn this perfume to work because this has sexy all over uh, all over it uh sex goddess right and this is kind of like your sex goddess perfume you can wear this anywhere and i promise you if you, you can wear this anywhere you would not find too many people with this perfume on it's not because it's expensive uh <laughs> Julian said, look at her cabinet full of money. It's not money. <laughs> it's perfume. Don't you know that the minute you buy the perfume, buying perfume is like buying uh, a, a car, right? The minute you take it off the lot, it loses, loses its value, right? It's the same thing with perfume. The minute you, you buy it, you open it, it loses its, va its value. The only value it has is to you. So yes, they are my baby, but they're not money. So let's get back to uh to this <laughs> to this perfume. Uh Jada by Dubai, Dubai number nine uh, by Bond number nine from the uh J Dubai line. I think I may have maybe four or five from this line. It's a powerhouse. Uh I haven't I haven't yet met anyone, met anyone who did not like this perfume. It's gorgeous, guys. It's you know it calls when uh, when you take this, you wear this thing out, you wear it out, you know, out on a date or uh, to go out. Maybe uh, I don't know if it's black tie, right? Because it's a little green. I, I don't think anything that has you know those green notes, too too much flower can can be considered black tie to me because black tie is something that is dark and sexy. I mean, super super dark. But this is definitely dinner. You know, Saturday dinner night, right? Nice dress on, nice high heel shoes in the winter or the fall with a nice coat on. Definitely something to wear. Definitely something to wear to bed. If you going out with that, you know, that special someone is, you know, special night, 
definitely something to, to work. And I would even say, you know, spray it, right? Hi, hi Marie Caso. Thank you. Uh, I would say definitely spray this if you, you know, don't spray it on your bed because, you know, it's too strong to spray on your bed. But maybe spray it in, the, in a corner of the room, right? Or spray it somewhere where you need, you know, the light is going, you know, uh, some light is going to be reflecting on it and to bring that aroma uh, to that perfume and it will give your bedroom a totally different vibe because that's how beautiful it is. And uh, definitely spray it behind your neck, right? Behind your neck there and, and then rub after you spray the perfume. So I learned, I learned this last week, right? What you do, you spray the perfume behind your neck or maybe you put it in your in palm of your hand, right? And you rub your hand together. And then you spray behind your neck, so you don't spray it down, right? You put you put your hand behind your neck, and then you go up. You go up, and then so it ended up in the you know in the uh, end in the back of your hair, and this will last for a long time uh, when you put it behind, behind behind your neck, because I think something you know once you get warm, because a lot of perfumes, your body is getting warm, right, with the perfume with the perfume. So what happens is that it just brings that you know, that really warm scent aroma out. Uh, and as you're walking by, people can still smell it and you will get tons of compliments with this. Definitely something to buy for your birthday or maybe have, you know, that special person buy it for you for your birthday. You know, it's it's great. So uh, Julian had a uh, question. Madam, Astro Place is nice and I would like to purchase it in the future. You know, I had uh, Astro Place. And I don't remember what I did with it. Astro Place is the one in the beautiful uh, multicolor uh, uh, bowl, right? Kind of a square, different color squares square uh, uh, for the bowl. I have it. I don't, I don't remember what I did with it. But if you get it again, uh, please send me, you know, send me a tester so I can uh, maybe try it again and see if, if it's something that I want to add to my collections. But for now, you know, I think I'm good with bun, with, with, with my bun collection. I think I have... Uh, if you can see my second shelf, uh, first uh, my third shelf in the back, it's full of bond number nine perfume. I think I have about either 19 or 20 of them. Uh, so Ursula said, Dr. Rose is spending one sexy picture. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So you've heard, you've heard it to write. Uh, 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 yeah. It's great to uh, put it behind your neck. And even sometimes... When I'm going, if I'm going out, right? Well, before COVID, right? You're going out. It's you know, it's a really good thing if, because most perfume they don't come with the hair perfume, right? You can make your own hair perfume out of it. Uh, make sure that you mix it with a little bit of oil, and then you can put it, you know, around your hairline, and you know, it just stays. Something it's something with perfume and, and around you know the head, the head, right? It just makes it stay and then it just projects out for you. Hi, Osman Fafa. Thank you so much for joining Olo from Haiti. Uh, so, Lulu, you have 42 bundle murder. No, Lulu. <laughs> I do not have 42 bundle murder. I have about maybe between 19 and 21 bundle murder. Because I think I gave one or two away. So I cannot remember how many, but I don't think I have any more than 21 bundle murder. So stop making, you know, a story up. So are you guys ready for me to tell you, to tell me about that perfume that I was talking about yesterday? If you guys were in some of my lives, uh, on the, the live yesterday with uh, Common Sense, I did talk about that perfume. It was new to my collection. So you guys ready? Uh, stop typing away. I know most of you in here have like tons of perfume. Yeah. it's Nope. Didi. Uh, it is not Chanel. Uh, most of you here have the, you guys have tons of perfume. Yeah, Lulu, Lulu's telling on me. I don't know. Lulu is like, she's a good friend, but when she, when she has to call me out, Cheryl was born. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, uh, nope, not, not Roger. It's not Roger, uh, Amina. Uh, Cheryl was boy. Where, where did where where did you go? I saw you post. You you wrote something. Let me look for. 
Someone says Chanel 1957. No, it wasn't Chanel 1957. Okay, Cheryl. Cheryl, okay, so which, which Mancera you think it was, uh, Cheryl? Do you know which Mancera it was? Uh, okay, Cheryl did not respond. Uh, Rose acts like she has a small collection. But compared to people with, with perfume, perfumes Zulu, you know very well I have a small collection. Uh, actually, uh, it wasn't, well, no, it wasn't Royal Vanilla. No, 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 it wasn't Royal Vanilla. Uh, Cheryl, she's, she's trying to remember. So I think Cheryl, uh, okay, Lindsay said the new, the, the new one you get from London. <laughs> The one from London was, was uh, vanilla, the vanilla one, royal vanilla. I wore, I wore that uh, a couple, uh, I think a week ago. I'm not gonna wear that uh, for a very long time now. It's, it, it wasn't it. It wasn't it wasn't black vanilla either. Uh, I'm I'm gonna show it because I think the first person who mentioned Mancera was Cheryl was Boyd, and then so she she gets to have it. Uh, it was this one. It's the out exclusive by. Mancera, I would explain this. Here's the bottle. It looked a little red when I saw it, but it's a it's a, a beautiful perfume. So Python, uh, did you really have to go there, Amina? You know I don't like that Python perfume. I like the perfume, but I don't like the bottle. You really have to go there. <laughs> Someone said uh, I would exclusive. Who said I would exclusive? Uh, Lulu. I think Lulu. I've already called it. I've already called. Uh, you know, call it, call, call, call the person who, uh, hi Judith, uh, thank you for joining. I've already called it. So Cheryl was Boyd, uh, you won this, you know, this, uh, the a decade of, of, of this one and I will send it to you. But by the way, last night, uh, two people won something for me when well, they did not win it, but uh, I offered uh, testers to two people and also a tester of the body oil. I only received one address. Only one person sent me an address. It was Didi. The other people, you know, who won, instead of making me watch the entire video again to see who the person was, please get in touch with me. It's easy to get in touch with me. My email address, and I read, I read this that email faithfully. I cannot show you, so I'm gonna type the email address here for you guys. And it's also, you know, my contact on my channel, right? So it's uh it's the same address as my uh, channel except it's at uh, gmail.com. So it's Dr. Rose's perfume corner at gmail.com. Uh, please get in touch with me so I can uh, get that uh, tester out to you tomorrow because I have a lot of things to, to ship tonight and tomorrow. So please let me know and I will I will get uh, uh, get that tester out to you. Uh, Julian could say I need to, to try the out exclusive. At Julian, you know what? Because you like those dark, sexy perfumes, I think you would really enjoy this. And you know, it was it wasn't expensive. It was, I think I paid less than less than sixty dollars for it, but it was on sale uh, last week. Fragrance uh, Net had a lot of on sales on sale, and today Fragrance X. No, fragrance.ca had tons of uh, perfumes on sale, Mancera. I think they had every single Mancera on sale. And now they sold out. This afternoon, I went and checked. We checked. Most of them were sold out. So, yes, uh, Ursula, I know one of them was you, but you have to tell me which one. And I actually, today, you didn't tell me. You just said the Mancera from last week. It, I know it wasn't the Mancera from last week. So you have to remind me. Otherwise, I have to watch that entire two hour video. Don't do that to me. Nobody wants to watch themselves, you know, talking on on, 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 uh, on YouTube, believe me. After you've done a show, you really don't want to watch it again, right? So the the notes from this one, uh, are the, of course, you know, you guys, this is an oriental spicy fragrance. It's for uh, uh, women and men, again, you know, unisex. Uh, it came out in 2018, so it's, uh, it hasn't been out for that long. And I don't know how Lulu and I, how we missed this perfume, right? I don't know how we missed it. Because when we're on the Mancera train, but we are still on the Mancera train, right? 
uh, we were buying themselves like crazy. And I don't know how we miss it. I, I, maybe it's because it just says out exclusive. Maybe this is why we just kind of like did not look, you know, look for it. But it's very sexy. Sexy by means strong. Not like this is not your little 20 year old perfume girl who wants to smell, to, to, to buy. Uh, what's that girl, the singer girl who has all these little perfumes out? This is not that kind of a perfume. This is a woman, men, you know, who knows themselves, who likes to smell good. They know what they, what they want to wear, right? Uh, okay, Cheryl, you, you'll get me information tomorrow. Uh, definitely. Th thank you. Uh, they know what they want to wear. Uh, they, you know, they just buy this perfume and wear the hell out of it. Uh, I sprayed it when it when I first got it. I was like, let me spray. Let me. I sprayed it up in the air, and I left the room, went to work. The next day, when I came back, I was still smelling the perfume after I sprayed it up in the air. That's how good it is. It's yes. Uh, hi, Jen Ison. Thank you so much for for joining me. Uh, this, you know, it's like. Like you know, uh, Lulu has a way a name that she calls perfumes. It's called like uh, st stopping on the hose. <laughs> I'm using uh, Lulu's uh, uh, sentence here. So this is that kind of a perfume. Stopping on the hose, less than one hundred dollars. It's worth it, and the bubble is so big. And I think if you look on uh, fragrance by that CA, you might find the two ounce. The one thing with buying a two ounce perfume from Monsera. Hi, Joseph Obu. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. The one thing with, bu with buying a fragrance, uh, a Monsera fragrance when you buy the two ounce, you know what happens when you buy the two ounce? You, you fall in love with that perfume. Uh, you regret it because usually the uh, stunting on the hose. Okay, whatever that means. You need to tell me what that means one day because what I'm thinking that it means. It's probably not what it really means. So you need to tell, tell me what it means one day. Uh, so it's don't buy two ounce perfume if you think you're going to fall in love with it. Because usually the two ounce prices, is, the difference is only $10. Uh, case in point, uh, today I was looking at uh, one month sale perfume for, for, for someone online. Uh, it was the Roses Out. Out in Moss, which is one of the most beautiful rose, roses, rose based perfume from Mancera. If you guys don't have this, try to get to get a test to have a test from it. The two point ounce was $54. The four ounce was $74. $20 more. You get you, you you double your value. You get double double the value of you know of the two two ounce. So Again, you know, if you, I'm not telling you how to spend your money, but if you don't have a lot of fragrance, uh, a lot of fragrances, and you want to buy something that you know you can wear, I wouldn't wear this all year long, because in the summer, I think it will make you make you explode in the summer. But besides the summer, uh, if you live in a cool temperature place, like you live in uh, Hawaii, where it's really, really always, you know, hot. I wouldn't wear this in the in, in, in the spring. But if you live in Alaska, wear it every, every day because you can wear this all year long, all four seasons in Alaska, right? If you live in Florida, uh, I probably would advise against buying this perfume unless you're going to, if you live in maybe northern Florida where it gets a little cooler in the in, in the in, in the winter. But if you live in Chicago, you live in New York. This is the perfume to wear in the fall and the winter, guys, because you will love it. But if you don't like, you know, if you don't like the notes that it has in it, or right, saffron, pepper, Bulgarian rose, violet, Indonesia, uh, Indonesia patchouli, right? Don't buy it because it's very oriental, very strong, but very, very beautiful perfume. So I'm gonna stop talking about it. You know, it's it's nice. Lulu, you need this. Yeah, you, you need this perfume, Lulu. And then for so for some of you that some of you guys that I know here, 
uh, Lulu, uh, you need this. Cheryl, what do you want to get the deck of it? Uh, who else? Uh, I, uh, Julian Quid, you really need this. Sunflower, you need this. Oh, you, I know you're going to buy them. Sunflower, you probably are already online trying to buy it already. I, you know, I think you've only been in the perfume booth for a very short time, but I think I've gotten to know you in the last two weeks and, and seen your purchases and what you've been posting. I think you, you're probably already online trying to buy it. Hunt Common Sense is in the house. Hey, Hunt Common Sense, how you doing, my brother? So we almost at the end of the show, guys. So for some of you who just joined me today, we did not work here yesterday. This is my new perfume uh, cabinet. Armoire, it's pretty big. It looks small in the picture, but it's a pretty humongous, big uh, armoire. And I have a video of it. And I'm gonna put, I tried to post a video last night. For some reason, when I post, posted the video, uh, YouTube ate half of the video. Thank God to somebody who noticed that I posted it right away and she sent me a message saying that you know it was wrong and I, and I took it down. But I'm gonna post it tonight so you guys can see my journey. How when I was taking the perfumes from upstairs from, from the bedroom they were they were in and bringing them downstairs, it was so tiring. After three hours, I was so tired, I couldn't even name some of the perfumes that I had because I was really ex extremely tired, exhausted from doing this. And in two weeks, I have to do it again. Yes, uh, Julian Quinn, uh, you notice the part, the bottles needs to be polished. Oh my God, did you just call me out on YouTube saying that I need to polish my bottles? Wow, I thought you were my friend. <laughs> yes, they, they need to be polished because I did not have time to polish them when, when I was putting them uh, in there anyway. So I have to do it again because I need to have what's called the little étagère in French, I mean in English, you know, the little stairs, I don't know how you call it. But to uh, show the the back the back ones to show them like in steps uh, kind uh, kind of so I have to do it all over again, and I may have to get another uh, another one not as big as this one because you know I still have perfumes of sales that I need to put in it. Anyway, as I'm gonna stop about talking about you know this perfume uh, these perfumes. So how many of you have been able to watch on Common Sense? to support my friend in getting his 4,000 watch hours. And for those of you who uh, watched, you know, played his videos between last night and today, I thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And, and from the bottom of my heart, uh, I, you know, really, really, I thank you guys. And uh, like I mentioned last night, I'm going to have a giveaway for him once he gets those four, four hours, four, four, uh, four, 4,000 hours, I'm going to host a kind of like a giveaway with, giveaway with him and we will be donating, donating a couple uh, bottle of perfumes. Uh, Didi said she's donating in one of the TV shows now. Thank you so much, Didi. Thank you. We really appreciate this. Uh, and Ursula said she joined him today. Thank you, guys. You guys are so sweet. That was that's really nice of you guys. So I'm, it's uh, 10 minutes after the time, and I was supposed to end at 8.30, at 8, at 8 o'clock, my time, which is 9 o'clock Eastern time. So I'm going to talk about the last perfume for the night very quickly, and then maybe hang out for a little bit longer if you guys have questions, if you you know want to talk about something. It's too bad I cannot take my camera and take it over there to show you guys you know this, this thing here. But you know I'm, I am so happy that I got this, right? I love it. And the only problem is that now when I need perfumes for upstairs, I have to take them upstairs. But downstairs where I am now used to be so messy because I had to bring all this perfume down when I'm doing my shows. So now they are here. I can grab them if I need to grab them. If I need to talk about something something else, I can you know do that. Uh, the last perfume for the night, it's the one, the controversial house. Contro controversial house. I cannot pronounce that word. Uh, it's Ideal Dewey by Girlie. I think they stopped making this one, guys. But this is your typical, oh, what was that? Um, oh my God, it kind of like a, a dust. This is your typical, typical uh, winter fragrance. Hi, Ivan. Ivan Curtis, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Beautiful hair, woman. Wow. Uh, this is your typical, Oh, excuse me. Your typical uh, winter 
fragrance. Very beautiful uh, perfume. It comes in this, I, you know, I bought it in the small bottle. I don't know if it comes in the, in the large bottle. But, oh, this is a powerhouse. Really inexpensive, probably $40 if, if you can still find it. And when I do, when I host a giveaway, I might uh, donate this one. But because, you know, the reason why I want to donate it is not because it's Guerlain. Uh, thank, thank you, Yves Marcel. It's because, it, you know, I have a lot of winter fragrances. And I'm, and I'm, not, I'm not even done buying winter fragrances because I've been buying fall fragrances. As if there's a difference between winter and fall fragrances. And guys, you know, don't get into the hype of difference between winter and fall fragrances because there is no such thing. You can, you know, something you wear in the fall, you can wear it in the winter. The only difference is that some fragrances that you wear in the fall, you cannot wear them at night in the winter because it gets really, really cold at night. Uh, so, you know, that's the only difference. But, uh, what, uh, Julian puts it $40, why still can I afford it? Yeah, BS. I, I call bullshit. I don't know what happened to Zo. I have no idea what happened to Zo tonight because I spoke to him. I told him I was, I was having a life. And then his girlfriend is here, he's not even here. So, you know. Uh, so let me tell you about the notes in this fragrance here, in this perfume here. It's so this this thing, this little bottle, guys, has a lot going on. It has so many notes going on, and plus it lasts a very, very long time on the skin. I think out of all the perfume that I have here today. I think this one probably is your darkest, strongest one. I think it's even stronger than the Out Exclusive. Even though the Out Exclusive is sweeter, it has some, you know, some roses, roses in it and it's, it's sweet. But this one here is, it has Lily of the Valley, Lilac, Peony, Frisia, Jasmine. And, you know, uh, it has some flowers and then it's, you know, it has nectar. And, you know, it has some strong, very strong jasmine. If you looking for, if you're looking for maybe a, a very affordable winter fragrance, get this one. Uh, if you don't, if you're not feeling really, really bad because of, you know, what one of the owners of the company said, and I still haven't have done researches, so I shouldn't really be talking about it. But, you know, winter, you can, after you don't wear it for the winter, you can just maybe wear the whole winter and, and, and then and then don't, don't wear it again. Or I've had this one for two years. So I only, you know, just sometimes once in a while, I uh, I will pick, you know, take it and, and, and buy it and, I mean, and, and wear it. But I don't wear it quite, quite often. I may, you know, give it, donate it in the, in the giveaway. Or maybe I just give it to someone tonight. Who cares? So this is it for me. This is all I have for the night. So let's go to the five perfumes again. So I will go back from number four to uh, all the way back. Idil Due by uh, Guerlain. Your grown, stunting the, stunt, stunt the hose uh, perfume out exclusive by Mancera. You can get this, I think, Fragrance X, Fragrance Net, and also uh fragrance that's fragrance by that ca i think you can get it from all of these places but try to see what you know which one gives you the best deal for your money and if you don't want to buy the four ounce get the two buy the two ounce right the b d k jasmine wood jasmine uh by bdk Pro, uh, puffer really really good really really good perfume uh at date night, right? Date going out on a date, guy, woman, you know, to get close to you, put it behind your hair and, and things like that. Sexy bottle perfume, scandal by Jean Paul Gaultier. Really nice perfume. I think every woman, every woman should have a bottle of scandal. Okay, get it. You need this. You need this in your life. You're going to thank me for this one. 
And the last one, Dubai Jid by bond number nine. As far as price is concerned, this one is probably the most expensive one. No, actually, uh, I think, well, probably the same price range. If you buy this one from the, at the discounters, if you buy this one, because this one is not available at the discounters, probably same price, same price, right? These two are about maybe five, ten dollars difference between these two. Oh my God, we have 27 people here. Wow, what a turnout. And then the last one, the less ex least expensive one is uh, the Gale Edil one. So Julian Quilt says, yeah, she's going to buy Scandal. Okay. Jen Ison said, um, mm, Scandal. Who, uh, who else is going to buy, buy Scandal from here? Uh, someone said Dior. Which Dior? Okay. All right. I don't know. We're not talking about Dior tonight, right? Uh, who's going to who's going to buy Scandal? Tell me. So I see two people going to, going to buy Scandal. I know Lulu already has Scandal. Uh, Jen Ison. Uh, Cheryl Boyd, which one are you going to buy, Cheryl Boyd? Thank you. We love you too, Cheryl. Uh, okay. I don't see anybody else who said they're going to buy Scandal. And Lucy, are you going to buy Scandal? Of course. No, you're not going to buy it. You're going to call me and say, Rose, can you please uh, tell me where to get it? Even though you know where to, where to find it. You're going to call me and say, Rose, Oh, can you tell me how to get it? I'll be like, okay, let me just do it for you. Just pay me for it. And Didi said she's going to buy Scandal. So we should have, what we should do? We should do uh, a Scandal night. <laughs> After all of you guys buy Scandal and come back and talk about it and tell me what you guys think. And if any of you, or, you know, if you guys are not like camera shy, I can put you guys on screen. We can, I think I can have up to maybe uh, 10 people uh, on this and then we can just you know just have a quick video talk about uh, Scandal. Uh, Lunsky CA said why are you calling me out because you're my, you're my sister I can't call you out. <laughs> yeah that's what sisters do to, to each other. I didn't say anything bad. I, I, I didn't say you're going to come and ask me uh, to uh, you, to give it to you. You're just going to tell me to just buy it and send it to your house <laughs> and then you'll pay me. <laughs> Sometimes it's just you pay me before I even send the perfume to you. Yes, what what happened to my likes, guys? Come on now. Where are my likes? I need my likes, people. Hit the likes uh, button for me, please. And you guys, you know, you can, it's okay to go back to the video and comment. Because those comments here that you guys put here, they do not show as part of the video when I post the video. They come on the side, but it's okay to go back and comment on the video. Right? So we should do a, a scandal night. So uh Judith Robinson says she's going to, going to buy Scandal. Wow. What about you, Gillian? Are you going to buy Scandal? So we should have a Scandal light. Oh, my God. I should I should really call Jean-Paul Gauthier and tell him to give me uh, something, right? Maybe a full barrel perfume because I just, you know, raises a sale for him with Scandal. So how many of you are going to buy uh out exclusive. I think uh, I can. Okay, I'm gonna call out the people that I think I'm going to buy out exclusive. Uh, Julian is going to buy it. Lucy is going to buy it. Uh, who else? Lulu definitely is going to buy it. I know that she probably already purchased it already since we've been talking. Uh, who, who else? I I think will buy uh, out exclusive. I don't. Well, I think Ursula, mm, I don't know if you're going to buy. Uh, okay, so Ursula is going to get a uh, scandal. Uh, Didi said she's going to get scandal. I think there was one more, one more person here I think is going to get scandal. Where is, where is she? Uh, where are you? Sunflower. Sunflower. She probably already purchased all of those perfumes I just mentioned. <laughs> Already, yeah. So you know, I know you guys going to buy it. I know that. I I know I I know for sure. So who is going to buy B B D K Jas Wood Jasmine or who already has it? How many of you already have this perfume? 
or how many of you are going to buy it? Yvonne Curdy says she's going to buy Scandal. Oh my God. All of you guys are going to buy Scandal. Wow. Amina, which one are you, are you going to buy? You're going to buy BDK, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to buy BDK. Yeah, I know. I, I, I have a feeling. So Ursula said she's new to the game. Uh, and Akisa said, I'm buying a sample of Wood Jasmine first to see if I like it. Well, it's fair because it, it's kind of, it's a little pricey. Uh, for you know, if you if you are not used to just buying uh, fragrances, yeah, you should you know just try try it first and see see if you like it. But you know, I think I think you will love it. Uh, you know, it's just my opinion. I think you will love it because I've gotten to know a lot of you guys and know you know based on what you guys have and what you guys like, I can always tell which perfumes you guys you know you guys are, are going to like. Amina said she's going to sample it first. Okay, so that's fair that you, you're going to sample it because, yeah, it's fair. And uh, Julian Quid said, let's baptize Akis Akisia. Why do you want to baptize her, uh, Julian Quid? <laughs> oh, Judith says she's going to buy the girl. You're going to buy the girl, uh, Judith? You will like the girl, I think, because it's your perfect winter hey hey bryce hi bryce uh you can catch it in the uh in 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 the replay really bryce and i would really appreciate it if you just catch it on the replay uh this is your perfect inexpensive uh winter uh fragrance that you can wear you can wear this you know during the winter and then don't feel bad for wearing it for over spraying it because it's not too expensive and it, it will make you smell like freaking gorgeous, right? This thing has a scent, a kind of a scent to it. The first time I, I discovered this perfume, guys, I was traveling to Haiti in an uh, airline called Air France, and they were selling it because Air France used to sell perfume, you know, they sell them, but they, they're a little uh, cost more, and I bought it from them, and then I fell in love uh, since then. So, Julian Akisia is not new, new to this group. Uh, she's been coming here for maybe a couple months. So I met her in the perfume group, and before I, I think I was under 1,000 subscriber, subscribers, and uh, the story is that I said I, I needed to, I said, I can, you think I can make it to 1,000 subscribers uh, uh, by that weekend? And Akisia did not even know me, and the first thing she said, I'm on it. And within, within I think, within maybe two days, I made it to 1,000 subscribers. So Akisia is my girl. So... Julian said, Akisia, don't listen to Dr. Rosa. Huh? You will get in trouble purchasing thin bottles within a week. No, no, no. No. Oh, you know what? Since you said that, I'm going to tell you something about Akisia. Let me tell you what, what happened. Akisia went and bought a bunch of perfume. Hey, Miss Leo. Thank you. Thank you for joining. I'm not, I'm not even going to watch it in the replay, Miss Leo. Uh, Akisia went and bought $300 of testers, and I was so mad. You guys know how I feel about you know spending a lot of money on testers, right? I try not to buy too many testers because I'm always like, uh, if I'm going to spend $50 on the decant, I can add maybe $100 more and just buy the whole bottle. So I'm, I don't buy testers often. And again, I'm a blind queen. I mean, oh no, oh my God, no, not blind queen. It's, uh, correction, I'm a blind buy queen. I buy perfume blindly without even knowing if I'm going to like it. If I don't like it, I usually return it. If I don't return it, I decant it and sell it, or I sell it on, on the Facebook group, or I give it away to someone. So, yeah, there, there, you know my story. Uh, what so you said you'll never do it again? <laughs> because if you were my little sister, I probably would have taken you and, 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 and shook you. I was like, she, she just wasted $300. Well, it's not a waste, right? Uh, and it's okay to buy testers from Lucky Scent. Uh, the testers from Lucky Scent, they're usually for between $4 and $7, right? And they, they send you a little bitty one. And it's okay to, to buy to buy a little bitty tester because you, if you're going to buy a tester, you're just buying it to, to, to test the perfume out, maybe to wear it once or twice to see if you like it. And a lot of people, they buy testers. They stay, you know, they, they wear it and wear it and wear it. Come on, guys. It's perfume. You either like it or you don't like it. 
right? There's no in between. You, you know, like you, you know, I'm gonna like this perfume, I'm gonna wear it. Or I love it, I'm gonna wear it a lot. Or you just say, look, it's not for me. Don't spend a lot of money on testers. Perfumes are universal, right? Uh, they are ageless. They are gender, gender, genderless. Anybody can wear any perfume. Don't let anybody tell you that, you know, uh, you cannot wear something. It's for girls. It's for boys. It's for kids. And, you know, I, and one thing I love, like when people refer to perf perfumes as oldies, there's no such thing. You know, my mother uh, wears any perfume that I buy her. She never says, oh, this is for a young woman. This is for an older woman. And I've learned that uh, at a very uh, a long time ago that if you love something, you were the heck out of it. Uh, so Jane said that always, uh, have you gotten the new Chanel Nui? What Nui? There's no, there, is there a Chanel Nui? Okay, I'm, I'm losing my touch. What Chanel Nui is she talking about, guys? Okay, Lulu? What Chanel Louis is she talking about? You, I'm losing, I'm losing my mind right now because I did not know there was a Chanel Louis. So once we get off the here, I'm going to look for that Chanel Louis. Chanel Louis, is it one of the exclusive ones or is it the regular, regular, regular one? Chanel Louis. Lulu, what is she talking about? Okay, you see, no, you see, you get me excited now. There's a new perfume out that I did not know about. Okay, so I need to I need to try to try that one. So, all right, any question, guys? It's you know, it's, uh, I said it was gonna be half an hour. It's been it's almost an hour now. Any questions? Any uh, things I can answer for you? And I'm going to buy it at Chanel Nui. Well, no, I mean a buy it. I'm gonna look <laughs> because I'm done. I'm tapped out for the month with my purchases already. No more no more purchase for the for, for the month. Yeah, if I only believe that. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, there is, but to me, it's a bedtime scent. Uh, the, the Chanel is a bedtime scent. So, is it, wait, is it the Coco Mademoiselle, uh, the, the third one they put out? I smell one from the third one. Uh, I smelled it like two weeks ago and I, to me, it was just like, hmm. Because I have Coco Mademoiselle Intense, I really did not want to get that one. If it's that one, I'm not going to buy it. But if it's a different channel, I might, you know, look into it. Because you can, you could never go wrong with, with Chanel. I mean, you know, I, I love Chanel. All right. Any questions? Because I'm going to say good night. It's been almost an hour. We only have two minutes left to make it an hour. And uh, thank you so much, guys. What am I, uh, you right? So what are you saying I'm right about, uh, Lindsay? Uh, someone says, oh yeah, preach from a bind. <laughs> Julian, one of these is I'm gonna meet you in person and I'm gonna pull your ears because of that comment. All right, guys, thank you so much for the night. Uh, Thank you, Amina. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Julian. Thank you, Jen Eisen. And you guys have a good weekend. And be safe. Love one another. Smell good. Keep smelling good. Believe me. You can wear two or three perfumes together. Nobody's going to tell you anything. It's your perfume. It's your body. Do whatever the hell you want to do with it. Bonsoir, Jen Eisen. Good night. Thank you.